there guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a clothing haul, kind of like a back to school sort of haul. Hauls are one of my favorite types of videos to watch, like back in the day I kind of hated them. I mean hate's a little strong, but I never watched them. But now I've sort of fallen in love with the haul, so I thought I'd make one for you guys. Before I start, the shirt I'm wearing is from Fairy Season, it's this little girl power sort of empowerment thing. Long story short, they sent me an email asking me to do a sponsored video with them, I agreed. They sent some items, and their t-shirt shirts are great but like a lot of their other stuff isn't so I need to send them an email being like yeah sorry um you're not paying me for any promotional sort of video but let me know I think I'm still gonna make a video just so you guys know like what to buy and what not to buy from them because some of this stuff is good like this shirt if you want it get it but a lot of it is crap so yikes anyway let's get into what I'm showing you in this video also if you like hauls give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new okay so the first place I got stuff from is shein.com they sent me all this but it's not sponsored and I love them so much. The links to all the products will be in the, I forgot the word description for a second. They'll be in the description, the down bar. Yeah, okay, the first thing I got is not that. This is a gingham cami dress. I love this so much. Gingham has been my thing lately. I got this in a size medium if you're like about my size. Then I would recommend this fits me so perfectly. It's kind of like a like, it sounds really bad, but it's like the right material for this dress, you know? Okay, then I got this pair of flowy pants. I've been wanting a pair of pants like this for a while, like the flowy sort of style. These look really good, and I have very long legs, so I have the problem of pants being too short a lot of the time. They're a smidge short, but I think it kind of passes off as like sort of cropped. I can wear these at college to class, and it'll look like I tried when really like I could sleep in them and it would be great. Okay, that was a long discussion on those pants. Next thing, I got this pair of overalls and somehow, wow, they're all like unbuttoned and everything. Okay, whatever, I'll show a try on, but it looks so bad. It looks like I'm holding a denim purse or like backpack. Anyway, somehow these fit perfectly. I have no idea. They're a size, what size are you? I think they're a medium. And the shorts part fits perfectly. I'm a size six, so if that helps, I don't know. Like I kind of took a little gamble with these, but they're great. I wore them to Disneyland. They were really comfortable. Overalls are great because you know when you wear jean shorts and they're like falling down or riding up your butt? Like the moment we add these shoulder straps, all those issues go away. Okay, the final thing I got from Shein is so, so cool. I got these yellow aviator glasses. I feel like such a hippie right now. I have my peace signs on my shirt and my glasses. I think these are really, really cool. I mean, maybe I wouldn't walk around every day wearing these, but like for photo shoots, I think they're also really cute on my head, just as like a little accessory. They're stuck in my hair now, great. They also have them in pink and I think maybe blue. Don't quote me on that. Next, I went to Topshop and I picked up a lovely pair of jeans. I have a lot of trouble with jeans. They're always very uncomfortable. People rave on about American Eagle jeans. I just don't love them. The the way the pockets are placed makes my butt look incredibly flat and they always seem to be falling down on me. I don't know. So I was like, you know what? I'll just get an expensive pair of jeans. They'll be great, hopefully. And I can just wear them every day. Better than having 10 pairs of awful jeans. So I went to Topshop and I got these jeans. These are called the, tell me your name, say my name, say my name. These are the Jamie jeans and they're just a very nice like medium sort of wash. They have them in the length of 30 and 32. I got 32 because I have long legs and they're still a little cropped, but I think it's like a cute cropped. I hope. These are so flattering. The pocket placement and like size and everything makes me look a little thick. No, I'm kidding. Not at all, but not a pancake no more. And these were like 70 or $80. But when I got home, I was like, okay, these jeans are great. So I went over to Depop. If you don't know what it is, it's an app where you can buy and sell clothes. It's like eBay, but a better layout. And I looked up Topshop jeans, size six. This girl was selling a pair of Topshop jeans for $15, 15. So I got another pair. And what's cool about these, these are actually called the leg jeans. And they just so happen to be in the size tall. So the length of these jeans is 36. So on me, these go like right to where my foot starts basically. And if I want to, I can roll them up, which is something I don't get a lot with jeans. If you try on a pair of pants, any clothing item in a store and it's expensive, before buying, go on Depop, go on eBay and look up that item in your size. And it's possible that someone could be selling like a very gently used version for so much 
cheaper. Okay, now on to something I got while thrifting. Another gingham thing. I actually got this before this one came in the mail, but this is a gingham skirt. It has like a stretchy waistband in the back. And I talked about this in my thrifting tips video and I like showed this skirt. So if you saw that one, you already know about it. But this was a very disgusting length. It went like almost to my knee and wasn't cute. Um, so I cut off the bottom and then just hemmed it with a little bit of glue. I used hot glue and I burnt my leg and my thumb. So please be careful if you're using hot glue. But I got a cute skirt out of it and I love how it looks now. Okay, now I have three pairs of sneakers that I got. They're all on the floor. This first pair of sneakers I got from TJ Maxx and they were $30. These are Tommy Hilfiger sneakers. Are you kidding? I think they're cute. It's just like a nice navy blue with the little flag sort of thing on the side. All right, then I got these Adidas ones. Wow, that looked Dumb. Before you guys hate on me, the only sneakers I had before I bought these three were my black and white Adidas Superstars. So I needed a few more shoes. Um, these are, let's see what these are called. Not sure, but I got these at Famous Footwear. They look a lot like the Adidas Gazelles, but they're not. They're like very slightly different and like $20 cheaper. And then, finally, I've had an Urban Outfitters gift card that I got for Christmas. 2015 I think which is really sad I just didn't know what to buy for the longest time and I finally got this pair of the old-school classic vans everyone and their cat has these but you know basic right here um, I really like them they're very comfortable sorry I'm putting them back on the floor and honestly if you are looking for a great quality pair of sneakers get vans please sponsor me okay so that is it for my haul if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe press the bell to turn on my post notifications and if you would like to check out my social media i posted some cute instas i posted one in this skirt and one with my new vans comment down below your favorite thing i got as well as any video requests as always have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time bye sometimes i walk a little faster in the school hall we just sit